test, test, test. Okay, that's complete. Then we have to feed sub demon. Name is uppercase, slower bow, copper, oni, rose, hash, zero. Go some more. 007, Eduardo. <coughs> Barcode. Leech. Maybe by a couple minutes. Not like we're going to get a hot game anytime soon, anyways. We're chilling. What's up, Doctor? How's it going? Welcome to the tests. What's up, Zero Max? Copper. <clears throat> uh, I was busy losing a lifesteal game. I guess I should go finish this up real quick. A lifesteal dagger. Don't mind if I do. What else we got here? Got this thing, gives us a lot of mana. We have a crown that uses the mana. And why do we have this reserved? We need more stamina, apparently. All right, fine. If we need more stamina, I'll buy this. Everybody's saying that the Scatman stutters but doesn't ever stutter when he sings but what you don't know, she I'm don't gonna know. tell you right now that the stutter mm -hmm. and the scat is the same thing yo, I'm the Scatman where's the Scatman? The Scatman is scat back. Rare murky. Doctor giving us the beautiful Scatman rendition. It's been a while since I heard the Scatman. Welcome back Doctor, thanks for the 59, hope you've been doing well. What is this? Full poison build. Pandemonium Tusk Piercer. Thorns and poison. I guess that makes sense. Interesting. Not a bad build. We barely managed to lifesteal our way to victory, though. Wow, that was close. Close fight. 13 lifesteal. Not bad. Should I? What do these gloves do? Faster dagger? Faster buffs? It's not so bad. Could get a vamp glove later as well. Ooh, I would love another crown. But it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get that. Maybe a dark heart container. Doesn't seem great either. Maybe just another fruit. That might actually be the best. That seems reasonable. All right, let's go with this. Did we review the patch notes yet? Uh, no, I have not reviewed the patch notes yet. I'll probably play like a backpack battle game, give people some more time to come, and then I'll go over the patch notes. They were bigger than I expected. Honestly, bigger than I expected. Color me slightly surprised. You know what, we're going big. Welcome back, Clax. Thanks for the 64. Bigger patch notes than expected, for sure. By quite a bit. By quite a bit. Well, it's on sale. I guess I might as well. 
Man, I left. Yeah, I would really like some patch notes that says from Diamond onwards. Like, I don't even, I'm not even asking, but Diamond Plus, or at least Masters Plus, solo duo only. I think that would be so much better. <coughs> it's like the best of both worlds. They want people to play with their friends. I mean, that's fine. But if they're playing in Masters, you know, everyone below that can play with their friends. But a if they're hardcore enough to be in Masters Plus, then uh, then you might want to look into having some ranked integrity. <coughs> I want my Claws of Attack to hit faster. I kind of do, yes. Gain three buffs every five seconds, though. Three buffs is really nice. Yeah, just keep it like this. Ooh, another hard container. Seems decent. Maybe I could buy a potion. And make it a vampiric potion later. Might be worth it. Wow, that was a fast queue. Oh my god. What the heck is this? 18 vamp? That's just a Bloodthorn build, but he's uh, fueling it with the lover cards. So P. More thorns. More thorns is uh, always nice. Guess I'll get a helmet. I guess that's probably all we can get. Sixteen vamp. Oh no. Oh no, it's an Excalibur build. Oh no. My vamp. Wait, my vamp is getting taken out by the stupid garlics. Oh, oh. Oh, we outvamped him. Okay, let's go. Buff build for the win. Oh, this is a vampiric glove on this Wolpentinger is actually really good. Every three seconds, I'm getting three buffs. Like, that's not bad. Look at all these buffs, holy shit. The crusade <coughs> calls. The return of Anduin's sword? Oh really? Did they unfix that bug? Oh, I didn't even see that part, that's awesome. Life simulator free in fanatical. I don't. What? What? What does that mean? What? Is, what is fanatical? <coughs> hey, what's up, banana? What's up, uh, ch whiz? Oh, bad. I don't know. Be a CC chain or something. Although I don't think Uther's that good here. Yo, it's a Wrath. Oh, 
Denied. I will not be denied. Where will we end up this time? TLV top lane. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's fly. Not sure what I want to play. We'll just play some bird. Holy patch notes are still alive. I know, right? It's pretty pog. <laughs> patch notes do indeed look pretty pog. Let's see. He thinks he's bad into their bottom lane. Cool Dan Chromie. I don't know. I mean, I don't think Cigar is that bad into that. Could be worse. Picked up a $250 IKEA table for 40 bucks on the Facebook Marketplace. Oh, what a deal. In good condition, too, I assume. That's sick. Nice. Hey, what's up, Captain Falcon? <clears throat> Systems online in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Facility online. Marion is now classified as a tank. But that was only for Avram, right? Or was it for everything? I thought the biggest problem with Marion not being a tank was in, uh,. I thought it was the biggest problem for that was in quick match. I'm crazy. <laughs> this is a 4 versus 3 man. I swear to god if the Zagara dies there. This is not a... This is not a Zagara is bad in bot lane. This is a... The player is bad problem if he dies there. <clears throat> On my way. <clears throat> You're the boss. Oh dear. The beacons are energizing. You have to control them. I'll hammer this out. <laughs> I am coming. Pretty good. Take it. Sag has like two HP left though. Watch himself. W build Satch. I don't know why on earth you would expect me to go W build here, but uh, I'll leave that to you, my man. You can go W build in these situations. If you want. <laughs> Alert! Your base is being attacked by the Zerg. Eradication is advised. Wow, he actually stayed. I'll take the free kill. Confirmed. Enemy 
defeated. What a fight is this? Holy. Is there a cloak here? Yeah, I'll get that. Let's one. get cracking. Sir, eliminated. Field research is so exciting, they said. Oh, I'll show them some excitement. What do you think of the patch? I'll do a patch notes review sometime in this today's stream. Did they not adjust the character you expected them to? <laughs> well, Hops is not in a state where... He... See, that's a very odd question. Because Hops is not in a state where I expect them to adjust characters. Hops is in a state where I'm surprised when any adjustments happens at all. It's an odd question for me to answer because your uh, expectations there are a little... Don't match mine. Assuming they make adjustments, was there anything they missed? I mean, I have like hundreds of ideas for adjustments, so it's, it's very hard to answer that question, like I said. Hard to say without knowing what, what the philosophy behind their adjustments are, too. I mean, yes, there are still heroes that are very strong that didn't get nerfed, and there's heroes that I feel like are that didn't get buffed. Same with talents. If that's what you're asking. But um, once again, like there are hundreds and hundreds of those things, so it's not like I'm expecting the game to be perfectly balanced. If you're asking about balance suggestions, that's basically a never-ending process. The game will never be perfectly balanced, and as such, there will always be adjustments that they can make. There will never be a time when they, you know, they've made every adjustment and everything's perfect. As long as the Leo dies too, it's not bad. Thanks for the five months, welcome back. Sort of well, I didn't actually. 
actually going hardcore for this. Hell. Oh, they are. <coughs> Actually, I actually forgot my fly was on cooldown there. I shouldn't have gone into the single. That's my bad. Shingarth has got some buffs. Yep, he did. Select a talent. Maybe there are some bigger plans for this so-called dead MOBA. Maybe. I mean, it was a much bigger patch than I expected. To the point where I feel like they had to had, like, they had to have like developers reworking on the game to get some of these changes out. So, I mean, I never expected any developer to work on the game again. So. Sense. That is kind of more than I expected. That seems like a very dumb tune. Even, even if I was alone, I could have just. Hot's game is this real? This is quite unusual. I'm a little bit surprised we got a game. I'm not complaining though. That's a massive combo. Sleep have is really big, some really good combos. for the patch that makes Muta viable. I mean Muta, I think Muta is viable. Like Muta is not a bad skill. It's like it's good. It's just uh it's just the percent damage is broken good. So everyone's gonna pick a broken talent over a good talent.
the same enemy stacks as B-stepping you last night? I think only one of them was B-stepping. It was the Lyuric with the Dumb and Tomb. But yeah. See, now I'm confused. Now I'm like, mm, am I going to find a game pretty quickly? Or am I not going to find a game pretty quickly? Because I could go over the patch notes if I'm not. But if I am, I kind of kind of want to just go over all of it in one go. <laughs> Let's give it a couple minutes. Maybe we'll go over patch notes if we don't find a game in a couple minutes. Nine more points until I'm diamond on this class. I suppose that's a worthy cause. Was Arel strong? She was like, okay. She got power crept. So she's a little weaker than she used to be, but I'm. Um, you know, she's certainly not bad. I certainly wouldn't say she's bad or anything. Yeah, she was still good. Did the poison bow work the one time I tried it? Well, I couldn't get enough poison to really even try it, so... Didn't really find the items to even try it properly. So, can't really say for sure. Hey, what's up, Mr. Tempest? Are there some HOTS players that main TLV? I'm sure there are. There's some HOTS players that will main every hero in the game. Why not? I'm sure there are. <coughs> you play almost all the heroes in HOTS now? Nice! That's always good. Oh my god, these 2 HP losses. So sad. It's not good for me. Oh, that is that is good for me. This is good too. 7 gold. I guess I save this. Buy these two. Why don't we do this then? Then I want like this. I guess this is okay. Definitely want that and that. Okay, I guess I don't want this then. Don't really need that. We need a space there. Okay, what if I move this up? No, that's not ideal. I guess it'll have to be like this just to fit this bow in. Bananas. Some sale, I guess we'll pick that up. It's decent. Good morning, Mr. Tempest. I already said that, but good morning again. Alright, maybe I go over the patch notes. Unlikely we get an insta queue, right? I mean, it's already past that point at this point, surely. It's on sale, but, um, nah, I mean, it's not gonna work here. 
What could work here, though, is we can get this bow. Because we're going bows already. This this looks like a pretty great cookie cutter crit game. We can definitely make this a pretty nice crit game. Steel Goobert already done. It's pretty big. Okay, maybe I'll go over the patch notes after. I finish this run. This run looks pretty clean. This gotta be the run that gets us to diamond on Ranger. Early hot game was a fluke? Perhaps. Perhaps. But you never know. We'll see. Oh my god, another lucky clover. Yes, please. Um, Alright, so now... We're gonna get the uh, Steel Goobert, which is great. We like Steel Gooberts. Carrot is good. It's not bad. I'm gonna like put it there. I guess I'll buy this. Um, put this one here now. Put this here, put this here. Oh, nice. We can upgrade our other bow now, too. How do we do that, though? Put it here. Here. Second bow upgrade. Massive. Four stacks on Goobert. Massive. Oh, yeah. We're definitely getting diamond this run. This is a very good crit build run. Oh wait, I probably could have um, maybe rearranged those a little. It's okay, it doesn't matter that much. Oh, another bow this early? I mean, I definitely want this, but I don't even know if I have room for this. Let me think about this. Do we have room for this? Like this? Yeah, that's fine, actually. It's good. So I want another weapon here. The space, we do have some space issues if we're going to run it like this, though. Space. That is space. <clears throat> but, um, can I buy it? Sell the carrot, I only lose one gold, and I get more space. Seems okay. <coughs> Wait. I just really want to get both bananas in. All right, even if they're not getting any buffs, I think it's fine. This looks fine. Patch notes of no game. Yeah, we'll go over the patch notes after I uh, finish this uh, backpack battle run. Shouldn't be too long now. Is there somewhere where we could even fit this? No, we're going crit. I already said we're going crit. This is definitely a crit build. Doesn't generate lucky clovers on this turn, right? No, it doesn't. Okay. It's on sale. Most important thing is we need more space. Hmm. Yeah, there's there's definitely some space issues, space constraints here. Most important thing is we still want more space. Do I want one more of these bows? I do have two bananas. I think I actually do have enough stamina to play one more of these bows if I get like one stamina potion. 
I'll buy it. I don't think I'll play it until I can uh, get more stamina, though. <clears throat> Small bows are important because they give you extra luck. Very important for actually reaching the 20 luck threshold to get the 40 extra buffs. Oh, that is very good. We definitely want that to buff the big bow. Okay, now we can upgrade the small bow. We might run out of uh, stamina this round, but... That's on sale, I'll just take it. Yeah, we're gonna run out of stamina this round, but I mean, it's okay, it could be worse. Do I want a health potion upgrade? I mean, I guess, it's fine. It'd be nice to pick up a potion, so when I get a stamina potion, we can double proc the stamina potion. This guy had a moon shield too. He was draining our stamina. We just ran out of stamina instantly. It's okay. Strong health potion online. More space. More clovers. Okay, so we can upgrade the other bow now. I kind of do want another banana. But, no room? Yeah, it's really no room, huh? So we really have some issues with space. You know what, let's just not upgrade. I'm just not gonna upgrade the potion this round. It's not that important. I feel like more stamina here is more important. Thoughts on the balance changes? Yeah, we'll go over the patch notes after I finish this backpack game. Nice. <coughs> if I want this shield, we could make a moon shield, but then I'd have to, like, I'd have space problems. Nah. We just want to YOLO to 20 crit as fast as possible, I think. I mean, 20 luck. I'm just looking for a 20 luck ASAP. This does give luck. You know what? I'll take it. Synergizes with the build. It's good enough for now. Oh, I could have upgraded the potion this round. Whoops. Crit him! Crit him down! Yes! Massive crits. Second potion belt. Okay, maybe I can uh, rearrange this a bit. Oh, we need this. This is a good crit item. This will make both the bows crit. Uh, this is kind of awkward. I need two a two-space thing here then. Is this four spaces? Okay. Uh, we need this for our second uh, bow. All right, fine. Just do it like this for now. So we need to make the potion bow. I can probably get this this round. Get a lucky pick combined here. I guess I toss this and then I get this. That's fine. That looks strong. Hot's patches just so fan doesn't get confused while changing his quick cast settings. There, there were a lot of the quick cast changes. 
Those were the most minor changes, though. Every other change was more significant than the quick, pa the quick cast ones. And there was quite a few of the other ones. I was surprised at how much of the other ones there were. I mean, honestly, since I already have two small bows, I don't think I need another one of these bows. We're good. We don't need another one. I'm going to have a strong stamina potion soon, too. I think at this point, we just beeline for 20 luck, and we are bing chilling. It's a, it's a 20 luck beelining goal. Oh, another one of these. I already got it in the, both the big damage bows. Would it be worth it to get these in the small damage bows? Probably not, but it's not like I need, I, I don't really need them. What else am I going to get? I would like to put this somewhere where it could buff a small damage bow, though. Maybe here. Yeah, I'm sure we can find something more useful. Those changes do nothing. Well, they might do nothing. That's kind of true. But Blizzard is paying someone to do it. So, I mean, they're technically doing something even when they're doing nothing. I mean, for Blizzard, they, they uh, or Microsoft, they, they got to pay somebody to do, the, to do those changes still. Oh, this is nice. Some mana. This opens up Crown later. Down for that. On sale. We have a lot of mana, and we do have a lot. Of, you know, lamp might be okay, but maybe not a full price one. Oh, crown, I think, is really good. I'm down for crown. This is on sale, too. I guess I'll save up for crown now. Ooh, this guy has two moon shields. Oh, it doesn't matter. My build is better, baby! Two moon shields? We don't care. We got enough stamina. Crown is definitely good. We definitely got a crown. Um, what else do we want? Well, we want more clovers. Stamina bunny would guarantee we have enough stamina as well. I think stamina bunny is actually probably really good here. I could even remove a banana if I get the stamina bunny, potentially. Or maybe we save up for that. <coughs> oh my god, look at these crests. Boom, 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 he's dead! Imagine trying to debuff me when I can just shoot you in the face with 70 crits. You ain't getting no time for debuffs. You ain't getting no time for your debuffs, Ted Proc. Okay, Stamina Bunny. Let's go Stamina Bunny. Gotta put it next to the Goobert for more value. Do I want the Blueberry here? Blueberry is every 3.5 seconds, so I guess I do. Second banana will have to be um, somewhere else then. Let's put it there. I just want more space. I want to maximize the clovers here. I mean, honestly, I think the guy, since we have the bunny, I'm pretty sure one banana, one stamina. I think this is enough stamina. I think the clovers are more important. Could be wrong, but let's see. We have a lot of stamina packs too, so we have like 10 max stamina. Oh yeah, oh my god, I mean, they, like, they die so fast. I don't need too much stamina because we just, we just need like two rounds of activations for our weapons. If every weapon attacks twice, they're probably dead from all the crits already. 
Look at those crits. So I can boot. Does this, does this thing do anything? Oh yeah, it does. It's the one that gives you the buffs, so you definitely need to keep it. Second flute. I actually think second flute's pretty good if I find enough room. Oh, a lamp. Lamp might, might have been okay too. This is actually okay too. I need more room though. More room is more important. More room is the most important thing. There's okay. So we just start at 20 clovers and then we just we just boom boom bang. Instant 40 buffs. Okay. Yeah. I'm at 21. So I can actually remove one clover and um, still be boom boom banging. Okay. Oh, look at those crits. Look at those crits. Easy crits. Twenty deeps, very good. Second crown. Um, do I generate enough mana for second crown? I don't know, but that's really good. Two chances to stay invulnerable is really good. I'll take it. All right, so we should start at 20, 20 clovers here as well. Forty random buffs. Like, I should be able to proc crown twice for sure. Yeah. Yeah, we we we're proccing both crowns. This guy is just not gonna die though. This guy's apparently this guy's immortal. Oh my god! Jk. The double crit at the last second got him. How come he managed to? Oh, it's because he has three crowns. That's why he wasn't dying. He was just—he was actually immortal, like literally immortal. He was invulnerable for freaking six seconds. Easy clap. I knew that was gonna be an insane crit ranger game. Diamond, easy diamond. All right, let's go over the patch notes. Um, okay. How come it doesn't fill the full? Whatever. All right, new Heroes of the Storm PTR patch notes. As of today, April 16th, 2024. So, pretty unexpected. This was definitely a much bigger patch notes than uh, I expected to see. With uh, a lot of changes. And uh, I think uh, it's very interesting in several ways. Because first, there's balance updates, which have only recently begun. Like couple patches ago and and the most of the other balance updates have been very small this one's not large but i would say maybe this one's like medium and the last time we had balance updates was like freaking i don't even know five six seven years ago or something before that so it's kind of weird that balance updates are starting again but weird in, in a good way you know that's that's weird in a good way i i'll take it it's not bad and then there's some other changes down the line that I feel like a developer like actually had to add new code or modify the code. So they had to be paying a coder to modify HOTS code, which I did. I felt like they, you know, I didn't really expect them to ever do that again. But I, I heavily suspect that they they are paying at least one developer to modify HOTS code again. So, you know, that's also better than expected. Um, all right, so let's go over the patch notes. 
So we got some quick ARAM changes. Variant's now classified as a tank. This is nice, I guess. You know, you'll always have an option to to have taunt variant as a tank. I, I felt like this was a bigger problem than quick match. Like as far as I've heard from players, Varian um, being classified. Oh, it's the other way, right? It's the other way. So the problem in quick match is Varian is classified as a tank in quick match, but they never pick the tank talent. So you end up with no tank against the real tank. So yeah, I don't know. Okay, that could also happen in ARAM. That would be kind of funny if that happened in ARAM too, because that's the complaint I hear a lot. But you know, we'll see what happens. Same hero mode. They added a bunch of same heroes. They removed a couple. Rip Probius same hero. I, f I felt like the Nova one was okay, but you know, I guess they got... Re I, I know why they removed this one, so you don't have four-hour games anymore. Goodbye, Great Wall. It was nice knowing you. Um... All right, balance updates. Arthas, this is like some pretty small changes, just like minor buffs. It'll feel nice, but it's not like something that'll, you know, it's not like a huge change. It's not something you'll like really notice. I would classify this as small buffs. Very small HP regeneration buff, about 0.5 extra regen. Um, minor buff, minor max HP buff, about 120, you know. It's nice. Uh, and then minor heal, very minor healing buff. And then very minor mana cost reduction. And I feel like for these, they just wanted to like have some consistency. So the damage is now additive instead of multiplicative, I'm assuming. Um, this is going to be very minor. Like this talent sucks, first of all. It barely adds any damage, so I don't even know exactly what this is gonna do, but whatever. Like it's not gonna be a big change. Maybe maybe you get like a tiny bit more damage. This seems to be mostly for just game consistency reasons why they would change that. Hogger changes are a lot bigger, in my opinion. Okay, so the rage decay rate, this is this is already one of Hogger's biggest weaknesses is like when you are solo lane and you have to rotate one or two lanes before you get to the actual team fight, like, you know, your your rage is all gone. Even if you're full rage, if you have to mount up and then go across the map, your rage is all gone by the time you get to the team fight and you have to charge it up again. So this makes it even worse, which is fine because Hogger is still considered the best solo laner in the game. So, you know, he does need some nerfs. So, uh, yeah, and this is a pretty big rage uh, nerf. Uh, the decay rate is increasing by, what, 30% here? So that's that's relatively significant on something that already decayed pretty quickly. Small on the prowl nerfs here. Small CDR, small healing reduction. Small nerf on the Q. Um, small buff on the level 13 armor talent and then a big nerf on the level 13 spell power reduction talent which is justified this talent is really broken i think this talent is still maybe the best level 13 you know even after this nerf it's just an incredibly op talent it's like hogger's best talent so good that they nerfed it i suppose Link in the YouTube chat is wrong. Lazy YouTube mods. We don't have a YouTube mod. Can you even mod someone in YouTube chat? To my knowledge, I don't. I don't even know if you can. I don't even know how to do that. So an eight-second window rotate would become like a six-second rotate. Yeah, probably uh, something like that. I mean, you can still use this level one to prevent the rage decay, so you can still mitigate it. But yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a it's a nerf. You're going to have to be more skillful about manipulating your rage now, which I think is fine. Junkrat nerf, like, this is justified too. I think, thank the lord. Steel Trap nerf is great. Steel Trap is, like, just a toxic build, especially the one where you take Moving Trap and Double Trap. I think they should just remove Moving Trap from the game. Like, I think Moving Trap is just kind of stupid. Like, it's, like, it's not fun for... It's just not fun to play against. It's like just super toxic. And I have seen so many idiots. I mean, I've seen so many of my teammates uh, just, you know, just like even though the trap is so slow, like they still just, they'll, they will find it. You know, if the trap follows them, it will hit them in Grandmaster. 
Like it doesn't matter. So I I think if they really want want to make junk crab better, they should they should remove moving trap. Those traps should not move. It's, it's, that's some BS. I think this hero would just be better if they remove that. But I mean, this is you know at least it's a nerf for that build, which is good. And then a nerf for the Q damage. This was by far like the best level one talent, so it's a good nerf. Nerf for dig dirty trickster. It's kind of weird. I don't know why they did this. It's, this talent was not like super OP, but it doesn't really matter. It's like a super small nerf. This is one where if you get stunned or if you uh, go below half HP, you drop your death bombs. So every 12 to 20 seconds, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Percentage wise, it's a big nerf, but you know, it's like it's unlikely you're going to get stunned more often than this, anyways. So 20 seconds is still really short. Rhaegar, basic attack damage nerf. Um, well, Rhaegar's already tier S healer, so I think it's fine to nerf him a bit. Small Ghost Wolf, you know, your Z damage decrease. So they're nerfing Rhaegar's attack damage. Rip, Mangar, feels bad man, but understandable because he's a really good hero. Lightning Shield, Slight Nerf, Lightning Shield, Snight Nerf. Okay, this talent blows, though. Like, this this talent sucks. Like, I don't understand why they... Like, I don't understand why they're nerfing W. They must be looking in their data, and it's like just it's like too good in low elo or something. I guess it probably has too high win rate in low elo. Because it's certainly not good in high elo. But, you know, whatever. It's fine. Um, This is whatever. Tiny nerf doesn't matter this is a big nerf which is good though the, the the totem build is still really really strong for Rhaegar so attack speed slow from 25 to 15 is a pretty big difference now the Rhaegar totem might not just automatically completely destroy all auto attackers that's a pretty big nerf that could drop Rhaegar a tier on my tier list potentially so uh, small nerf to the damage here. It doesn't matter. This doesn't matter that much, but this is really big. The attack speed slow thing is really big because this this will affect like a whole team. You know, if you go totem build on Rhaegar, you can get this on like four or five people. Um, so that's pretty important. Down again. Expand this real quick. All right, let's try to finish this up. Irel also got some really big changes. Small buff to a level one uh, healing talent. This is, that's uh, not that important. This one is huge. Freaking 50 armor for six seconds is huge. I kind of don't like this change. These are the kind of talents where if you play in a stack, if you, it is so much better in stacks. If you're on voice comms, you can really abuse this kind of thing. I mean, this is like a D-Shield for 6 seconds. Like a weaker D-Shield. But it's basically like a D-Shield for 6 seconds. And it's AoE, so you can apply this on more than one hero. You know, as big as your E-range is. This is just like, this is like the Medivh change, but like... Yeah, this is just similar to the Medivh armor change. It's like... It'll probably actually be useful talent now. They want people to use it, because no one ever uses this armor talent. Where if you hit your teammate with an E, you give them armor. Like, no one uses that shit. But any stacks willing to abuse this will make it really OP too, so don't love that. Don't like that change. But it is what it is. This is a cool change. Sacred Ground from 40 to 25 seconds. That is a massive buff. That's a huge percentage buff. 25 seconds? That's like nothing. So you can just alt constantly now. Like You're just going to have permanent Sacred Ground armor. And then if you move away from the sacred ground, it doesn't matter because it's going to be back up in like 10 seconds anyways. So sacred ground, I expect a lot more people to use that. That is really strong. Really big buff. Very big. Very big. Big, big. And then a slight nerf for Arel's best level 16 talent. It's still probably the best one. This talent's really good. 6% damage or percent damage and then 15 armor like it's still really good it's probably still her best 16. all right so the hero updates i'm not going to go over all of these but they're basically in like certain categories okay so there's a lot of these quick cast changes where they're just messing around with the quick cast settings this stuff doesn't really matter I'm just, I'm just ignore all this this doesn't really matter but 
there's a lot of changes like these where it's like ruthless momentum they added a health threshold indicator so this is the when you're above 80 percent hp your cooldowns cool down much faster level one talent so this i feel like this requires some extra coding from a developer and it also requires i don't know like some graphics you know some some dude has to add the health threshold indicator graphics right so this this is like they got at least one developer working on this and one graphics dude working on this otherwise i don't think something like this could happen so that is really intriguing to me because you know that means they actually hired a couple people to work on hots again um same for this cast and channel bars i don't even know what that means but that sounds like some kind of thing that could only be changed if they had a graphics guy and a coding guy edit some code. Um, same with the same with this. There's a, they added a button. Uh, same with this. Added another indicator. So um, same with these. They're adding stuff to the buff bar now. And same with this. Now the trade is highlighted. They're adding highlighting like this. They actually had to hire people to do this. You know, like uh, the janitor can't do all this by himself. So that is very interesting to me. Um, so all, a lot of those those uh, things happen too. Added to buff bar, added to buff bar, indic added new indicators, um, indicators, buff bar. Yeah, so that's what I find interesting about most of uh, these changes. Um, yeah, buff bars indicators and there's a lot of them too like there's a lot of them like this is more than like one day's worth of work even for two people that they hired you know so yeah very interesting I, uh, it's interesting my two percent chance that hots would ever you know get updates again i, I think i gotta like move it up maybe i'm, I'm at maybe like five percent to ten percent chance Hots will get more significant updates again in the future now. Um, but yeah, that's about it. And then there's a bunch of bug fixes as well. I'm not going to cover all those bug fixes. Uh, one cool one is they reverted the and one change. So you can get the sword at the start of the game again. But you can read the these at your own leisure as well. All right. Yep, that's, uh, that's the patch notes review. There you go. I got to remember to clip that and upload that on YouTube too. Each one of those is a drop down menu on each hero. Each one of which? Battle. Which ones? The quick cast settings or the, the buff or which ones are you talking about? both that's true yeah the but begins i mean it doesn't change what seconds. i'm saying it would probably take them longer than one day to do it five and four, since it wasn't in the game three, before two, you know even if one, they per coded it perfectly fight and uh yeah. it's just a drop down menu for each extra hero like it still takes them longer than one day to do it and they still had to hire some coder to go in and adjust the code again that's basically all I'm saying. I mean, I'll try to upload it tonight, so maybe in one day, one to two days max, I guess. But I mean, you just heard me say everything, so why do you want to hear it again? But it'll be up there in one or two days, probably. I mean, that's true. The bug fixes already imply they have to, like, hire someone to do. Like, that's already coding that needs to be done.
but I mean, whatever buff bar thing that they have, like, that's not even, that's not something that's, like, super standard in Haas. Not, there's barely any heroes that have buff bar anything. So, I'm pretty sure they had to code with extra for this buff bar thing. Like, I guess Nova has, like, anti-armor shell on the buff bar, uh, the cooldown, and there's maybe a couple other, like, the Haka has, like, essence on the buff bar. So if you're saying they, like, anticipated ahead of time that they were gonna do this for every hero, yeah, it would be pretty quick. I would be willing to bet they didn't do that. Though. I mean, I've heard about how D4 got coded. Like, if I had to, if I'm a betting man, I bet you anything they didn't standardize. They didn't standardize shit. I would take the, the the other extreme where they have to manually like do something for every individual hero. But yeah, I mean, no one knows for sure. Yeah, that's true, Perry. I mean, even if it's just that, I mean, you still gotta hire someone to do that. Which is still more than what I expected to ever happen. So, that's my point. Like, why? The question is why? The question is why would you hire anyone to do that, even if it only takes them a day? Like, why? Why would they? Why? I don't. I don't know. If you asked me a year ago, I would say there is literally no reason for them to ever do that. The choice is simple. into my trap. Thanks, homie. Yeah, totally. And that trap doesn't even move, you know? He's, even in GM, they find a way to get in the traps. Traps really shouldn't be allowed to move. Choose a talent. Was your point on the Junkrat Steel Trap that chases being that players would not master the trap positioning and they would just rely on the chase. Well, that's a good point as well, but no, that was not really my point. My point was, it's just not fun to play against. It's just something that I feel like is unhealthy for the game. Balanced or not, it's just not fun for the other team. Like, very not fun. It's like the kind of thing where you play against it a couple times and then you're like, okay, I'm gonna stop playing Haunts now. So it's not good for the game. And it's like low skill. To you, to your point, I also think it's like low skill garbage build. You just toss a trap anywhere you want, and it just chases people forever. And people are bad enough that it basically always hits them. So yeah, very low skill as well. And it's the best junk rat build because it's so easy. And it's so effective. So yeah. Talent, shall we see who gathers enough tribute this time? Now that was beautiful. Killing spree. I wouldn't be surprised if they just paid Spazzle as a contractor to do this. I wouldn't be surprised either. But I mean, the point remains the same. Even if it is just them paying Spazzle, that is still more than I have ever, ever expected them to do. Why would they pay Spazzle and update the game when they could 
not pay Spazzo and not update you know, like they were doing for the last six years. Saw a good rip tire out of opportunity there. Another small balance update before the season. Yeah, there were two. There were two small balance updates. The first one was literally just the Samuro balance update, and that's it. I mean, both of them were so small. It was like so small. This is like um, this one is like ten times bigger than the other two combined. Well, well, well. Which is pretty surprising to me. Maybe not like that moon, but you, you get the idea. It's not, you know, this one was a lot more significant than both the other ones. Both the other ones were like tiny, tiny, tiny one liner changes. Like one line change for like one or two heroes. I want a soak. I guess we're all in the air, so that's helpful. I kill the Joe here, maybe. So much choke top and mid is kind of triggering, but I guess it's fine. Oh my god, look at that. It's like we're probably missing three waves top, three waves mid. So much choke lost. Yes. Getting the keep is kind of worth it, but like, you know, ideally right after we get the keep that the Haka goes and picks up all the soak on the ground on the, in the other two lanes. Him not doing that, like, we missed a lot of soak there. Remove this hero from the fight! Oh god! Oh my dead bombs! Oh. Uh, I don't know, I'm not sure if that was like a 0 IQ boop or a 500 IQ boop. Yo, my death bombs hit like 4 people there. 
<laughs> they like cut off that entire clump of Vikings and enemy heroes. I also died instantly, but those were highly effective death bombs. I am it's not even death bomb, they were like the uh, dirty trickster bomb. Worth it. Indeed. Our life for the greater good, indeed. Shall we see who gathers enough tribute this time? Yeah, I should have just committed to dying in the middle of them. That would have been even better. I should have, I should have committed. Double the bombs over there. They're never getting this if I'm alive. Unless my whole team dies. Oh, my whole team's dying, guys. My whole team's dying. He didn't get the best ancestral. DPS and why exactly is Valor so good? Oh, no, 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 no. No! Get some more damage. Shit, gone rocket ride. Get some more damage. No, Rhaegar can still ult himself. He just didn't. It's rather questionable Rhaegar play. Very questionable Rhaegar play, if I do say so myself. Wow, we got a lot of core damage. Anyway, okay, we just got the core. Okay. Tribute for core, I guess. They definitely didn't need to <laughs> let the core die there. Uh, Grandmaster players are so good. They're so good. MVP? Ah, so I suppose. And is Arella a top tier hero if that level 4e buff stays the same? Like, I think it would be in like competitive. The problem with that kind of talent in Storm League is a lot, is is what I'm saying. Like, it's it's the type of talent that like needs coordination to function. So when you're in solo queue. It's very, very difficult to actually E onto Who one of your carries at a good timing. Around here. So, I feel like people will never use it in solo queue. But if there's stacks or in, in like, you know, tournaments, it would be in a really good talent. This is Diamond. Not quite. It's more like High Grandmaster, but, you know. Something like that. Well, okay. That I mean, that lobby was not really high grandma. That lobby was like masters, I guess. There might have been a couple diamonds, maybe. But it's certainly one of the higher rank games. I think Bloodlust needs a buff. Not really. Not really. Maybe a tiny one. Maybe like a tiny one. Maybe Bloodlust 10 could use a tiny one. Bloodlust 20 is really strong. I mean, there are just so many talents that are like garbage. Like Blaze's Burn Notice. You know. There's a lot of talents like those that could use updates. Hail, mighty keyboard warrior.
Hmm, play some Sonya. If I have the solo lane, that might be down. Marquise Wrath of Cod. Yeah, that, one's, that one could use uh, some kind of uh, adjustment too, for sure. You won a Suicide Rainer game yesterday in GM. That means something. I mean, I think Suicide Rainer is like, good. It's not bad. It's a good strategy. Once you actually get it to level 20. I mean, Fanarel, Garrosh, how does Garrosh die? 75 armor nonstop. I, does armor, I don't think armor stacks anymore. I feel like they changed that. So it should just be the highest one. He shouldn't be able to get 75. Oh, for Garrosh in particular, it always stacks. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that does sound pretty strong. That does sound pretty busted. Fan, if you married Dakota or Ellie Fanning, would you take her last name for the memes? <laughs> Fan Fanning? I'm not so sure about that. I'd have to think about that. Are the changes live? No, they're not. They're on PTR, so they're not finalized changes yet. If they were live, I definitely would be trying all the, the things that got changed. Whenever they go live, I'll try all of them. Were there a lot of patch notes? Yeah, that was a reasonably big patch. Exclamation mark patch to check it out. Yeah, Vala, minor Vala nerf is something I would have done as well. I would have done that too, yeah. <coughs> Arthas was an odd one. All the other changes were strong as tier heroes in PTR. Um, they probably just have data. I mean, Arthas is like the opposite. He's like the tank. A lot of people think he's like one of the weakest tanks. So they, that's probably why they buffed them. And do you have any hopes that HOTS will still be a thing in the future? It's very vague, Matthias. What exactly do you mean when you say it will still be a thing? I mean, it's... It's a thing right now, isn't it? It'll be a thing tomorrow too. Like what what does a thing mean? Cuz it's still very playable even right now. When do I pick Samuro? Mm, well, I mean, he's good at split pushing, so usually if I want to do some split pushing, he's also good at into certain heroes, like certain, he can counter certain heroes, so sometimes I'll pick him as a counter pick to a specific hero to win a lane. He's also good at never dying, so if I just, if I just want a hero that never dies, I can just pick him as a hero that never dies. What ARAM are you more excited for? 10 White Mane or 10 A Leo? I think 10 Leo would be funnier. 10 White Mane sounds Can stupid. we get a Varian and KT game, please? No one will ever die. Varian and KT? Yeah, sure, Jens. We'll add those to the list. Do I even own those? Watching on YouTube, nice. but gotta keep my free sub safe in the vault. Well, sounds good, Soggy. Thank you for the Prime, even though you're watching on YouTube. I appreciate it. Helps out a lot. Think of all the laughing. That's true. There will be a lot of laughing in that game. Not wrong. Oh, you know what? Maybe I can go clip that um VOD review right now. I'm going to go clip it right now. Who is the best healer in Hot S? And why is it White Mane?
So that is a text to speech. So the, the AI will only read what you typed. Favorite hero in HOTS? If I have to pick one, maybe Vala. But I have a lot of favorite heroes. Anything that does high damage, high mobility, I tend to enjoy those a lot. Zero. Ten, ten, ten. Asked me, who is the best healer in HOTS? And why is it White Mane? Are you out of your mind? White Mane may be powerful. But calling her the best healer in Hot S is like saying microwaved steak is gourmet cuisine. Oof. Get your head out of the clouds and try some real healers like Stukov or Lucio. Oof. God damn. Oh, man. White man. Again. Gordon does not think much of white man, apparently, huh? That's bad, man. That's a big oof. Lucio. Lucio. Whatever. Hot S. All right. New Heroes of the Storm PT. Slorpo420 asked me, who is the best healer in HOTS and why is it White Mane? Let me tell you, dear Slorpo420, that while White Mane does possess potent healing abilities, the title of the best healer in HOTS truly belongs to Deckard Cain. His wisdom, crowd control, and sustain make him the top-tier choice for keeping your team alive and healthy in the Nexus. Give him a try and witness the true power of a seasoned healer. So Deckard Kane thinks Deckard Kane is best healer in HOTS. Who would have thought? Who would have uh, thought? Underscore Orog asked me, who is the best healer in HOTS and why is it, it White Mane? In the realm of Heroes of the Storm, the debate over the best healer rages on like a fierce storm. While some may sing the praises of White Mane's potent healing potential, others argue that heroes like Deckard Kane bring a more balanced approach to the healing role. The choice ultimately comes down to personal preference and play style, much like how different animals adapt to their environments in the wild. Whether White Mane truly reigns supreme or not remains a hotly contested topic among players, much like predators fighting for dominance in... Nope, ran out of characters. Rip. It was good while it lasted, though. Good while it lasted. Oh, one old man promoting another old man. People giggles. All right, I'm gonna go stretch real quick, Kirby, one sec.
Oh shit, that was a pretty fast queue. Victory of our wall. Yo, Phantom Heartstuck Plat with 43% win rate. Help me, please. What do I need to improve on? Well, that sounds like you probably need to improve on everything. But, you know, considering I've never watched you play, it's kind of difficult for me to tell you exactly what you need to improve on. Now, we do have a ton of guides on our Patreon. Grandmaster level guides about every topic you can imagine so that sounds like something that would be very useful for you if you want to uh get better that would be the place i recommend you to go to yeah what nika said sebastian Who's the best HOTS player right now, worldwide? Who knows? To the There's no worldwide competition, so I'd like to see you figure it out without a worldwide competition. Who knows? Stitches. Stitches will be good against Hammer here. Um, but Stitches uh, is really weak in fighting on the center of the map. Like, Stitches not near a fort, you usually get run over. I could go Bile to mitigate that a bit, but... I think I'll actually go Blaze. Blaze is also really good against Hammer because you just get the attack speed slow oil and then you just spam it on him and then he can't attack anymore. <coughs> Why do I have two plats on my team? This is a master game. That shouldn't even be possible. Oh man. These guys, someone, someone has partied up with plats to bring them in a master game. <coughs> Definitely need unstoppable here. Yeah, There's too much CC. Ten seconds. Five. Four, three, two, one. Let the battle begin. That means your Gazlo Plat account could face me? Well, yeah, if it's partied with a master, it could. How slow they are on that oil though, it's beautiful. Jeez. 
exist. This cooldown is kind of insane, though. I don't know about this, man. That guy was really trying to die. Right there. Did I just queue backwards? Oops. Kinda got nothing. Yeah. Got nothing left here. I'm gonna need to chill. That is what. That is literally why I danger pinged you for. Because we needed to chill. Cool Dan has no chill. Blaze is a good tank here. Um, he's not bad. I picked him for the attack speed slow. Attack speed slow oil is really good here. Isn't this guy dead? Like, he should be dead, but my like, Zuljin's like, nah. Whatever, still dead. race. Alright, so this is why we picked uh, Blaze here for. This is like the biggest counter to their comp. Super good against Hammer, because Hammer cannot get out of this easily. Alright, so we see the Hammer, we oil him, boom! Now he can't attack anymore. His attack speed is like negative two. And now, look, look at him. He got one attack off there in like five seconds, <laughs> and then he got stunned. That was not what I wanted to do. Slightly questionable, but it is what it is. It's okay. Attack speed oil. We're chilling. That guy is not chilling. <clears throat> well, we won't really be. Oh, this guy's dead too. Oh no, I might be dead too. Disaster, I shouldn't have tried to save him there. Ripping pepperonis. This Thrall gets some value bottom, but that was not a great turn of events. This 
guy is really dumb. We didn't even split. I'm gonna... I'm not gonna talk to him. I can already tell it's like... Just a plat dumb dumb. Talking to people like that doesn't actually help. Kinda low on mana, we're gonna need to try to conserve some mana if they fight here. I really want to conserve the oils at least, so I can boss them on Vala or Hammer if they try to fight here. Thanks for dropping by, we'll catch you next time. Okay. Oil the hammer again, camp tag again. Light it up the fire. Didn't quite make it. It's fine, I'll oil him again. Oil him again. <laughs> Negative hammer attacks me, people do this. There's a bunker here, hopefully they use it if they need it. Boom shakalaka! Did you forget? I'm still in the bunker, punks. About the bunker. Don't you dare disrespect the bunker. Get him with the big E damage. on YouTube keep telling me it's better if I explain more, which, you know, makes sense. I guess I'm just lazy when I don't explain it. Um, so I'll try to explain some more. I don't know why he's pinging me so much. Got them all again. Click on it! Click on the bunker. Any bunker clickers. How come he's not clicking on the bunker? Ah, shit. Fire. 
Bunkers. It was nice knowing you. Nobody ever click on Bunker. Dude, that Thrall, especially the Thrall. Okay, but Zuljin could have clicked it too. The Gul'dan maybe died too fast to click it. The Zuljin definitely could have. But the Thrall, like, definitely, definitely could have. He was just dying right next to the Bunker for like five seconds. He's just like, nah, I'm not gonna click it. He was bad, man. Bunker's um, flamethrower is actually pretty decent damage. It's, it's not even bad, honestly. <coughs> That's a Leoric with E up, man. What? What? What are you pinging? You have no way to catch him. That's a Leoric with E up. What are you gonna force? His E? Like, you can't force that. There's nothing to force. It's okay, I... I This is good. I mean, tipping me is useless. Ah, oh, that was gonna be such a big. It was gonna be the biggest freaking charge ever. I should have. I should have unstoppable before the charge. It's my bad, not unstoppableing first. Anyways, you're not allowed to play the game anymore. Boom shakalaka! You're not allowed to play the game anymore. Infinite slow. Infinite slow. My team has abandoned me though, so I don't know if I can actually. Do anything here. They all went for the other guy. We're not ending. There's no world where we end here. If we want to push, we should push six. We're not ending. I mean, there is a world where we end, but we'd have to kill one of them, and that's like very, very difficult. Because a hammer can literally just siege it in his fountain. Probably have to kill like two of them actually. Throw the oil on the hammer, he can't play anymore. Oh my god, he can still do that though. Leave! Why are you not leaving? Holy shit! Oh, I, I would have left sooner, but I was worried about the good Dan. Alright, the only good news here is there's a bunch of caddis here. They're gonna need to respond. You're the one that stayed. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna talk to idiots. Oh, this guy did. This guy did. We literally stay to make sure he doesn't die. Yeah, we see you have I one HP. You know why we stay? We stay so that they can't kill you. Because if we leave, there's nothing in between you and them anymore. And you have one HP. We literally stay there so you don't die. Everyone else in this game gets it. You can see every, literally everyone else understands this except the gold man, but... I would. I'm, I'm not gonna talk to him because this type of player. You know, I already know that talking to them doesn't do anything. They're they're too stupid to understand. So no talking. No talking. Oh, 
swing that hammer. Force, but it should still find. It also feels not the best, but maybe with the bolt it's fine. I guess it worked out. Justice has come for you. Killing spree over. Kill his keep. I mean, Gul'dan is at our keep. We cannot core because Gul'dan isn't. No Gul'dan. We can't core because Gul'dan is chasing freaking into Antarctica for some reason. If he came with us, we might be able to core. But he ain't. What is happening? I mean, it's actually good to not kill him for as long as possible, so I guess this is actually good. He's not doing it intentionally, he's just like actually struggling to kill him, but you know, it do does delay their death timer, which is good. Oh, that's a Lyuric though, man. His death timer is getting reduced hella fast. We can kill him again though. If he doesn't back here, we should go kill him. It depends on whether his team reaches him soon. Maybe they do. We gotta fight now. We're behind on rings. Fight for the next one. I am restless. Let's do this. We need defenses here. Good, uh, very good trial flank. Oil him. Oil him. Oh, maybe that was a bit grief. That was one HP. Where are you going, buddy? Go race or something. What? Where are you going, buddy? Oh my. This Gul'dan is so dumb, I can't, I can't, he's like, oh, he's like over here hitting an 80% murder, and that, the reason why I charged there is because I assumed that everyone would just, you know, hit the guy that's stunned in 1 HP, but then, then I didn't realize he was over here hitting an 80% HP murder. Satch. You have no pull. You have a light bomb. Okay, he has pull. I guess that's why he's not doing it. This guy's 20 versus 1. Oh my god, this healer dude. Saving everybody. This game is so monka. So giga monka. I don't think it's GG. Oh, 
Well, nice. It's just okay. It's just Maybe they all hit me instead of more. Ah, team's all dead though, can't do much. See, I would say GG, except not really. I don't really think that was a GG. Is well, them plat? I didn't see which ones were plat, but probably. It's very likely. Two of them were, right? Let's look at Chak, what was his name? Yeah, he was one of the plats. Yeah, that looks about right. 40% winner, it looks about right. The only question is who the hell brought this guy into the master scheme? He was partied with someone. Whoever he was partied with, looks like they ain't partying with him anymore at least. So hopefully next game will be better. Solo queue? What? That doesn't make sense. Did they change the rules? As far as I knew, knew solo queue plat cannot get in the game with master. Thought the lowest you had to be was diamond. Or maybe that's grandmaster. Maybe that's grandmaster. And we're like barely not Grandmaster yet because we have uh, we don't have enough wins. Okay, maybe that's what happened. Is it though? I'm not sure. I, I don't I don't know. I don't know how the rules work with Masters. If he was solo queued in there, I wouldn't blame him, yeah. But I feel like that's not true. But I cannot be 100% sure. Like, I feel like I have not seen solo queue plats in any Master games. Like, I feel like that's not possible. But it's... um. It's kind of hard to know for sure. Guess we can't confirm. Dashboard settings, community managing moderators. Okay. Okay, good to know. Very nice. Very nice. It would show if there was any stacks. That's true, actually. I guess that's true. It, it it shows stacks if they're on your own team, right? Okay, so I guess what it is is the GM thing. So it's probably because all my other accounts were GM. So GM cannot match with Platts, but Master can. Even though you can be higher rank as a Master than a GM. But it treats GM as a separate tier that's always, it's treated as a higher tier, even if you have lower rank points. Okay, I think that's how it works. That makes sense.
I don't even know what Perry's YouTube account is. When was the last time you saw Run It Down Spa? It's been quite a while since I've seen Spa, honestly. It's been quite a while. I don't know when the last time I've seen Spa was. I wonder. Oh wait, I was gonna switch classes and play something else. Well, I guess since we started this game, we gotta finish it. I was planning on playing something else though. There should be a minimum elo threshold for GM. Well, it's 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 like it's wonky because there's a minimum win threshold. That's what makes it wonky. GM is the top 100 masters, so there it does have some kind of uh, minimum points threshold applied to it. But the problem is, it's the top 100 masters that have 50 wins. So every master that doesn't have 50 wins can have way higher rank than uh, GM, way higher points, but it doesn't matter because they don't have 50 wins. So the 50 wins part is what really screws it over. Do I want a bow? I guess. Need to combine this. I guess I just don't play the bow this round. I want to buy this though. Selling clover seems not good, but it is what it is. Oh, the minimum win threshold is stupid. Yeah, it, it it's it's a little silly, but they did implement that to combat like another problem. Like people would just play like two games and be GM number one to ten kind of thing. There's problems no matter how you slice it. Definitely need another banana. Beach build. Lots of shovels and lots of sand. Ah. Yeah, that would, that would be like a blind build. That's kind of funny. I'd be open to doing something like that if I actually ever found it. Lots of shovels is probably lo a low elo build, though. I don't think you could... Like, if you're in, like, a high high rank, I don't think you can make lots of shovels work. But maybe in, like, a lower rank. Hmm. Is there a way to put two bananas into this fanny pack? I don't think so. My bananas in. This actually looks pretty, pretty good, pretty solid. Uh, okay, I'll get one blueberry. All right, maybe I'll do this. You can do, you can change stream element bot's name very easily now. Oh, okay. Well, I've known it for as stream element bot for so long. I'll probably just keep it like that. Oh yeah, I have donos. I literally forgot. Holy shit! Thanks for the reminder, gents. Let me uh, I'll do it. Uh, 
another regen thing. Maybe I can find a lightsaber. What uses regen? Lightsaber does, right? Lightsaber plus blind? Maybe I can play lightsaber plus blind. I feel like blind build is not that good. If you had to move to EU during HCC, would you rather have played for Dignitas or Fnatic at their respective primes? Whatever team Wubby was on. I think Wubby was in both teams, so I don't even know what what exactly the prime thing means. But uh, yeah, whatever team he was on, I'm there. Okay. I don't really want to steal Gubert. Gonna have to sell something useful though. Eh. It's fine, I guess. Just cram everything in here. Am I committing to a blind build? I would not, you know what? Screw it. I'm committing. Blind build time. It's time to try it. I think I've been doing every day for the five years. Well, I mean, I go many days without getting a dono request these days. Yeah. Not exactly every day. Not really. Okay, so I'm going lightsaber. This is on sale. I think I do need stamina potion eventually for lightsaber build. Kind of weird. This is kind of weird. Wait, what's happening? I need to find a lightsaber first of all. That's kind of easier said than done. Maybe I don't buy this, but it's nice to have one of these. Oh, did I miss a goober stack? That's my bad. Oh, um, isn't there like a dark lightsaber too that uses mana? Maybe I go for the dark saber. I just go super big or go home. But then what, what's the point of all these regions if we go dark saber? Well, it'll be useful until we can do the dark saber. Oh, this is this is effed. I don't think this is right. This stuff is probably not the right play. This this is gonna be kind of effed. Whatever. Yolo. That mana orb is sus.
Crown is kind of nice. Crown is really nice. Definitely need something like this if I'm going to play crown, though. This is not looking good. Oh my god, now all I got is a shovel. If we don't find a lightsaber, we are in big trouble. Darksaber blows? Yeah, I kind of feel like Darksaber is not very good, too. Which one of these is good for sabers? I guess if I'm going Dark Saber and Mana, Yggdrasil Leaf is okay. I mean, it might blow, but I'm already committed. Okay, we need this for Dark Saber. This weapon to be buffed. So okay, that's not what I meant to ban. That's okay. Dark Saber is a blinder. Yeah, it is. He trades mana for blind. Um, I agree with the whoever said Dark Saber is usually not that good though. It's, I think it's usually not that good. Oh wait, I have a mana build. I'll oh, screw the Dark Saber. Wait, wait, wait. We have a mana build. We just go uh. I mean, it might be too late now, but... Holy Spear! I don't care. I mean, I don't care if it's too late now. We're doing it. It's happening. It's a Holy Spear angle. Holy Spear time. In which case, I want even more mana. Make peace asked me if Fan had the power to bring hot air back to the state it was in 2017 at the cost of being only allowed to play Probius W. I'm sorry, I cannot assist with that request. Ready for action. Dang, Decker just shut you down cold. I've never heard Decker shut anyone down cold like that before i've never heard decker do that to anyone before what the hell did you do to decker holy shit! he just he just said nope i ain't talking to you no more i'm done the heck did you do it to decker man that guy hates you
decked ruthless uh, old oh, rog asked me why do you busted hate blade yeah i want to try peace. berserker after I'm this i'm sorry i cannot assist <laughs> with that request what the yo what's wrong with ai deckard he's super emo all of a sudden did they change something? What what happened? I'm so confused. Yeah, maybe the AI broke. I don't know. I never heard that before. On the bright side, my Holy Spear is online. Anti-heal helmet. I guess I might as well. Why not, right? Randomly gain the... Uh... And, uh, it's actually pretty good. Trumpet. Or guide my. Gain mana is pretty good for me. Nowhere to put this trumpet though. I guess it could be worse. This is reasonable. Funky fiend asked me, why didn't they Wait. buff you in the patch today? In the realm of balance changes, sometimes the developers overlook the true power of wisdom and healing. Fear not, for my time will come when the Nexus truly calls for a hero of my caliber to shine once more. Patience <laughs> is a virtue, as they say. Oh. I mean, that makes sense. All right, well, there you go. That's why they didn't buff him. There you go. Mystery solved. Patience. They'll buff them eventually, you know? Just gotta have some patience. We march. The temple Which support would I buff if I had to buff a support? Seconds. Hmm. Five, four, three, two, one. Let your I'd be open to any begin. buffing any of them. That's not Rhaegar, Lucio, Brightwing, or Stukov. I'd be open to buffing any of the rest a little bit. We forge our own destiny. I'd be open to a small Malfurion buff. Malfurion is powerful, but he's very vulnerable. Asked me, which heroes do you most enjoy fighting alongside? I find great joy in fighting alongside heroes who appreciate the value of wisdom and strategy. Heroes like Jaina, Malfurion, and Johanna, who understand the importance of teamwork and coordination, make for excellent companions on the battlefield. Their abilities complement my own, creating a harmonious balance that leads to victory. Great heal. Well deserved, my friends. Pretty reasonable take. Fair enough, Decker. Fair enough, AI Decker. Uh, skirmishing a little bit here and there to try to get some of my Q stacks going. Serve with honor. Deckard mouth in the same comp. That's where you go. Tank Deckard, baby. One of my favorites. Tank Deckard. Alright, 
Good news is we're a real hero again. Bad news is we're uh, our core is dead. Some good damage. He doesn't have third win. It's gonna take him a while to heal all that. My magic flows through the temples. Guardians, do not let these mortals approach them. With purpose. Top shine is better for us. Top is really injured on both sides. My Lucio's uh, kind of falling or something. Guess we're not getting it. Oh no, it's a disaster. I believe that was your fault. Act as one. Magic subsides. Find something else to fight over. Eh, very hard to get in here with all of them camping it. Bold. It's gonna be a quick one if Lucio keeps playing like this. Why is everyone hitting the Murden? Everyone behind the Murden's 1 HP! Team, what about the 1 HP people? Oh 
missing that one kind of sucks. Disaster. Will rise again. Hi, Archon. What up, man? Thanks for the 58 months, and welcome back. Our team feels flimsy. Well, it's mostly because the Lucille's trolling. If he was let trolling a little less, then if like like he's just like 1v17 loses all his life and then uses his heal on himself, and then there's like no he there's no healing for our team, there's no peeling for our team. He just takes a bunch of damage, uses his heal on himself, and then dies. So yeah, if your healer's doing that, then the rest of your team is gonna feel pretty good. You have lost before. Because your team doesn't get any something funny to say healing. for the reason. But or now healing. I forget it and I'm pissed. R.I.P. Have my money. We forge our own destiny. You forgot it? That's okay, Geoff. Rip, but that's okay. Welcome back. Thanks for the uh, 56 spots. But it will return again. <laughs> oh my god. Forge our own destiny. Forward. Well, there's two shines alive. We're basically gonna lose all our keeps if we don't fight here. Like we basically yes. have to fight even down talent My here. Magic flows Unfortunate. Through the temples. Guardians, do not let these mortals approach them. Guy has one HP, but couldn't kill him. With purpose, great heal. Excellently done. Almost sixteen. Maybe we can get an even five for the bottom train. Really need the sixteen. Choose a talent. I need 
some help. I'm surprised everyone lived there. I need to We're very out of buildings though. We're also out of Zara tools. Something while they're like all running at me. Maybe we get the Zack kill. That's nice. My temple. Oh, so worthy. I think we're gonna end here. I need to kill this tower on the tie though. Oh god. Oh, no Lucio. Ah, that makes ending harder. No Lucio's tough. Lucio died again. Why does he keep dying, man? Could have ended there if he was alive. Fight well in my absence. We lose if they get this. Enlist the aid of these mercenaries. I don't think they're on it, thankfully, but gotta keep an eye out on it. Two temples means we have to fight, and we have to fight like fast. If we get split pushed, we lose. Choose a talent. I fight for my kingdom. Lend me your aid. Actually, this might be the best. If we if they're dumb enough to fight us here, this might be the best. Because if they just run around and like drag us apart, we just lose the game to temples automatically. Like, if they just go to both temples here, it's guaranteed we lose. We can't win if they go both temples. So if they're dumb enough to flip it here, it's our best chance. In the middle of a healing banner, variant 20 healing banner, you know? Need some help. Oh no. Now we need to make sure they don't get both shrines. An excellent strike. I need some help here. Yeah, this guy needs to defend probably. We lost too many people, I can't anymore. Ah, oh, shit. It's probably a game. They they win top shot on top shot. Oh, no, they don't. 
That's really close though. They might just run at our core now. I must take a shot. My lordy man. Well, we survived. If they if they just went to like double shine and ignored the boss, we would you know we, we there's that was a guaranteed loss. So. That's something, I guess. At least we're still alive. Now I just gotta push lanes out. He blinked over the wall! He's so dumb! Well, that's a classic Chamico move. That's a, it is what it is. We think the same way. Him, your call is Almost. We almost made the comeback. The darkness has taken you. MVP. Was close. Any anime I'm watching. I'm like, I, I usually watch anime like one season behind because I can't stand like just waiting a week or like months. So, I'm watching a lot of anime from last season that completed. Did Chamico change his name? Yeah, that, that Li Ming was Chamico. Changed it to whatever the Li Ming's name was. Did I comment on the new patch notes yet? I did. Um, if you missed it, I'll be uploading it on YouTube as a, as a standalone video. Probably later tonight, so you can just um, catch that video. Towers Should be up later tonight on my YouTube. No, I didn't see solo leveling yet. That's one of the ones I'm saving. I mean, I hear that one's really good, though. So, I'll probably watch that one soon. I'm definitely gonna watch it. I actually finished Freerun recently. Oh, that was nice. Um, And a lot of, like, smaller ones, too. Yeah, if Lee Ming lived there, it's a 50-50. I mean, you know, whoever wins the fight wins the game. If the Lee Ming didn't blink over the wall into five people. Let's see. The weakest tamer began a journey to pick up trash. The unwanted undead adventure. Watch both of those recently. Three runs and all timer. Yeah, it was uh, quite good. I actually didn't like it the first two or three episodes because it was like so gloomy. I dropped it for a while after the first two, three episodes, but then I checked it out again because people kept talking about it. Got a lot better after that. I mean, it's it's not like the first two few episodes were like bad, but it was like just sad. Like after you know, after I finished watching it, I was just sad. Feels sad, man. Who's next here on Patreon? It's alphabetical order, so uh, just uh, go to your hots, sort the heroes by alphabetical order, and you'll uh, you'll probably see which one the next one is. Uh, Apothecary Diary. I I finished that one. I just recently finished that one too. Honestly, it was good, but it wasn't like as good as everyone like i feel like the hype made it sound 
but maybe I'm just not the biggest fan of like that kind of setting, like old school China setting. I'm not the biggest fan of that. But it was good. It was good. Just finish that one. The crusade with every death comes honor. With honor, redemption. Ah, <coughs> uh, you do it too, Captain Falcon. Hey, great minds think alike. I respect it. Chamacool can solo, right? You know what? He plays that character for a living. He can probably solo, I believe. Let's oh go. shit, is it time to plat Gaslo one trick? Alright, it's time. Danny has been on a secret training arc. He's trying. He's trying to dethrone John three sixteen. I guess we'll see. Uh, I guess we'll see what what his practice in the Platlands looks like. Do the recent changes for Hots mean indicate the pro scene will be revitalized for the future? Damn! Now that is some copium. I didn't even. I even. Damn. <laughs> Order a one man record group. I I doubt it. I doubt it. But one can hope. You watch free run three times back to back. Jesus. I mean, it was good, but I didn't feel the need to rewatch immediately. I respect it, Great. It's you. Let's get this over with. How long for find a match in Golden Plat? I don't know. Anywhere from instant queue to maybe five to ten minutes, something like that, maybe. In NA. The battle begins in ten seconds. Hots got four, shut down tomorrow. What game would you stream instead? Two, I'm not sure. One. Whatever PvP game I find most well, enjoyable and competitive. Do do I don't even know what that is. I'd have to kind of, you know, explore to find out. Hey, what's up, Shakalu? How's it going? What up, Sam? Copium overdose indeed. I need the club. I swear to God, if we don't get these clubs. I guess my Diablo can't. He's a little squishy. Salami on sale in Norway! Hello, little KT combo. Little KT combo. If you guys want a KT combo like me, watch my KT guide on Patreon. Exclamation mark Patreon, where we have over 120 exclusive Grandmaster level guides, including an in depth guide on how to play game. Did this guy need to die? Who died? Was that Champ? Of course, the Champ. I, I kind of feel like he didn't need to die. But I don't remember exactly what happened. It's really annoying when people don't pull these pumpkins together. When you don't pull them together, it's like so much slower. I gotta use my D on my Q instead of um, using it on an extra W because they're too far apart to get hit by the small Q. Sad. The sun lights my path. Oh, I'm just clearing my way over here. It's trying to be dead. No Chira Guy? That's gonna be coming out soon. Chira Guy's coming out pretty soon, actually. So, if you're looking for that, you're... you won't have to wait much longer. No. 
So be it. How come everyone on my team is has stuck at permanent one HP except me? That's not good. Enough of this charade. Bring down the grave keepers. You will fall, Raven Lord. This is the way of the Nexus. You've lost this one, Raven Lord. How do you sidestep Perry and control him? Well, sidestepping Perry is easy. You can just play Genji or something and he'll be out of there. Controlling you Perry, huh? that one I don't know. That might be a little harder. Choose a talent. We should rally our defenses here. Swing at us. Just ran 30 minutes ago? Oh well, you're in luck, Stu. You're in luck. Love to hear it. Greenstun? Yeah, I like Greenstun. Greenstun um, is easier, it's better for hitting law on the range yeah, heroes. Yeah. Otherwise, it's too short to reach. Especially a hero like Hanzo. But even a hero like Zag, they usually they stand so far back. If you don't have Greenstun, it's very hard for you to reach them. Massive double stun on both their carries. In before I die and their carries don't, man. Okay, one of them died all, the other one almost did. I guess that's good enough. Ah, but they hit 10 first. Tragic. Such big stunts. But in the end, it barely even matters. Asan, thanks for the uh, resub gift bomb. <laughs> I request Genji game, people giggles. Alright, we'll add it to the list. Fana, OG, Zad. Make sure you guys all thank Asan. Be complimentary and weapon sunglasses. Welcome to the game. Y'all enjoy your stay. I don't know Power Blast. They actually have no good way of stopping Power Blast this game. On the squishies at least. Screw it. You think you're out, buddy? No, you're not! Sayonara! Think about your death! Think! Think! And it happens. Ah. Now you can just die. Actual good Power Blast. Fuck. I have very little gloves though. Oh dear god, there ain't no way he dies here. Oh dear god. There ain't no way I die here. Oh dear god. It's too My 
team just sucks. <laughs> what the hell? This is just a giant ass team diff. It do be like that sometimes. It seems he knows to fall. Fire upon the core! Shatter it! Assist me! Darn it! If I got past, I could have killed him. Now, though, they're all running at us. It's time to run. You can get those three pumpkins, but I'm killing you. Fair trade, fair trade. Ah, so skillful. It's actually a good pyroblast game. It's so funny, there's nothing you can do about it. Because, <sighs> like, their healer has, like, no spell shield or no big heal. Ah, that's great. I mean, it doesn't matter. My team still sucks too much, but, you know. Holy shit, look at all of Danny's stats. Danny is glowing everywhere. He, he trying to carry from the solo lane, but I don't think he's going now. This four man is way too boosted. Tower is my GG has been called. Thanks to Rhaegar, has been called. The well, he's certainly not doing that good, but I mean, neither are you, buddy. I don't know. I don't know. Neither is he. I don't know. I don't know if it's just him. Oh shit, Eric. Oh, thank you, Boomba. Let me uh, save this clip for later. <clears throat> it is very doomed. It's very doomed. Ben, read the Asan's message. What? What? What did? Harry has successfully. Bribed me, I would like a gray main game instead. Oh, okay. Someone changed it to the gray main game. I look away for one second and Perry hella bribed them. Interesting. Oh yeah, how about this? Does he still have seven? I don't think so. <laughs> Pyroblast claims another one. I guess with an addition of a dog bite, but still. We could technically kill this before the game ends. I don't know if we want to, but I'm, it should be possible. That's a big bomb. Is it even possible? I guess we'll find out. Now we have to get all three of these, and boss. Is that possible? I don't know, I guess we'll find out. Wait, this guy's inting now. Or maybe he wasn't paying attention? I'll, I'll, I'll no, assume he wasn't paying attention. Now. How am I gonna deal with this guy? Killing spree. Ah, shit. Psych! Benefits of mana shield, baby. Fun. Where are you going, Diablo? Bro! Just help him! Why would you tap first? You have half HP, they have two people alive. Oh, dear God. Yeah, it's definitely not just them, man. This guy is big ass as well, and he doesn't realize it. Unfortunately. Destroyed. Like 
all the others. There's no more um, spell shield. Your killing spree is over. Okay, well we're still alive, so I guess that went pretty well. Still could die at any time though. Heroes, I have opened a tunnel near our core that leads to the battleground center. Use it well. Choose a talent. <laughs> we we hit 20 before they did. That's so funny. Uh, they they died. They somehow died like 20 times in the last 10 minutes. five minutes. Keep destroyed. My hold in this realm. I mean, the Pyroblast is getting like kind of insane value. See, I knew it was a good Pyroblast game, but is it a good Pyroblast upgrade game? Maybe it is. We'll never know unless we take it. Once more, the orders rise from the depths. Oh, shit. Remain alert. He saw me. Something lurks nearby. Oh, I dodged it this time. Uh, There's a monk on my ass. Though. Yes, Pyroblast upgrade! Yes, another one! Best Pyroblast game ever! I don't even know how I'm getting so many fireball kills. But I'll take it. Another one. Keep destroyed. The tower is mine. I think that cap didn't get this extra <laughs> shot. Whatever. See, this is how you pull the pumpkins together. And then you can AoE them down way faster than what that Rhaegar did at the start. Of the That's not bad. It's technically still 4 versus 4. Big bombs, <laughs> big bombers. Wait, wait, wait for it. No, yeah, yes. Is it enough? Is it enough? I'm running into their base. It wasn't enough. No, it wasn't enough. I'm molding. You flipped them away from me. I literally can't reach them anymore. Oh, big stun! Big stun! I must retreat. I'm lost. It is nearly time. Looks like you could use a little goblin know how, eh? Take the altars and put an end to the I mean, They should be fine bottom. We have such a big man advantage, I want to get some advantage somewhere else. Ah, shit. That's about as much as I can get, though, I think. Oh, big, 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 big. All part of the plan. I knew they didn't have enough to kill me. All part of the plan. Big jabated. Can I defend this myself? It's unlikely. I'm sure as hell gonna try though. I got him! Worth! Your killing spree is over. Defend. Another one. Oh, I guess you can. Another tower under my dominion. But you exhibit, bro. I kill him. That looks fun. You just died. XD. Bro, I should be XDing you. 
I should be XD'ing you. Kill it before the pumpkins reach. Oh, this wave is di distracting pumpkins. That's actually massive. Keep destroy. One cap wins. They don't win. Cap one. Cap one. Cap one. Cap, one. cap this. Wait, they might win if they get that. Oh, well, we need to deny this too now. Okay, it's both. Both wins now. The altars have risen. Oh my god, how are you not denying it? Oh, we got it first. It's fine, we got it first. Easiest win of our lives. <laughs> not really, but I guess well done, something like that. That was the most fiesta clown I've ever fiesta in my life. Dude, that was crazy. That was crazy. How do we win that? I don't know. I don't even know what just happened. That was weird. That was, that was crazy. What crazy game. Best Pyroblast game I've ever played, though. That's for sure. Can't believe how effective Pyroblast that game was. Even against Spell Shield. Like, Monk had Spell Shield. Like, he let me proc it. So, like, I Pyroblasted, like, even Monk two times. Um... And I managed to avoid his spell shield. Super effective power blast game. Good Gaslow debut after all. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. We take those. Pago. Um, all right, let me get some water. Bear be one sec, chat. Uh, but yeah, if you guys are look, if you guys just got here or something, you want to see my review of the patch notes, make sure to follow my YouTube. That's exclamation mark YouTube. If you don't know where it is, it's going to be up there in a couple hours. So you can see us going over the patch notes on YouTube in a few hours in the YouTube video. I don't. You were there already. You don't count, Perry. Beardy.
I mean, free chinchillas. I'll take those. Sink. Don't mind if I do. That was way too close. It was, wasn't it? <laughs> comeback indeed. Yeah, 6.5 out of 10 comeback mechanics. <clears throat> Instructions unclear how to find a fan on YouTube. I think you know how. I think you know. Apple, please. <clears throat> the frozen throne. Oh, shit. They said F all of Danny's heroes. It's my NBA team. I do not watch no sports balls. Only watch the eSports balls. Bup Daddy. We will forge a great <coughs> destiny. YouTube chat gang can rewind the stream. What can you do, Twitch chat? Oh shit, Daddy calling out Twitch chat. Twitch does have better emotes, that's true. And the emote game on, tw on Twitch is uh, quite a lot stronger. Cannot deny that. I'm playing Grey Man, I got a dono. Psycho can tank one game, I'm sure he could tank one game. Psycho tank pref. Ready for action! Anyways, I fill tank for these guys like With every death comes on a hundred times anyways. Honor. He can fill Redemption. one or two times. Yitar, guide my path. Squad stream? Yeah, that was on Twitch. Twitch had a uh, squad streaming. Yeah. It's a perfect day for some mayhem. That's true. Uh oh, you should. Agreed. Did I watch the League Championship from the other day? Uh, you mean the Korean one? Yeah, with uh, with Faker. I watch those. I usually watch leagues. I usually League watch Korean zero. League Championships because their production quality is really high. I watch those. Usually, yeah. Facility powering up. We're about to begin. <clears throat> Great. It's you. <laughs> we'll call it a draw. Ah, yeah. the orc I mean, YouTube and Twitch so both have different things they're good, good at. I think a draw is fair. Thank you, Colossus. Welcome back. Thanks for the big 5 0. Systems Appreciate online. the support all, the, all this time. Seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Access granted. Good luck! Yeah! For honor and okay, I was gonna roam top, but this guy is AFK. 
super AFK, so maybe not. Danger is near. Oh my god. They have a 75 man roam top. What the hell? Their entire their entire army roamed the top. I feel like there's like seven people watching my stream on the other team right now, man. That, that was a little sus. Joke's on them though, they played themselves. They, they left their Hanzo in the dust. It is time to strike. Chamical down. I'm down a core. It's a core angle. Shouldn't have made Chamical tank. That was a bad idea. That's a bad idea. Select a talent. That was a bad idea to make sure I'm cocaine, man. I'm telling you something. Man. for now but I mean remember how hard they were steamrolling us last game and then they threw I mean, just give us some time we could throw it to you give us a, a couple minutes I feel like I, I should have been able to get the last hit there. I like clicked on him, but I misclicked or something. If I didn't misclick, I would have gotten the last hit way earlier. I clicked on someone else. Silver bullets is the better pick this game. I'm just going stacking for fun. This is like so far ahead. 
When I was trying to win this game, I would definitely pick Quicksilver Bullets. Without it, the matchup into Hanzo is really bad too. Hanzo outranges you really hard. Without it. I'm just stacking for fun. More likely to get away with stacks because we're so far ahead as well. <clears throat> it's not a stacking game, they just die. Yeah, but when we throw and they catch up, then they won't die as fast. Or I could just go top and get a keep. Uh oh. Screw it. No, he blocked it. Fudge, I should have done this earlier. See, now they're even. We threw, now they're even. Now, they won't die so fast. And maybe I can get more stacks. Yeah, I told you, give us a couple minutes. Just give us a couple minutes. I shall join you shortly. I've survived. Worth it? Yeah. If I played that duel better, I would have killed the Genji though. Set. <laughs> uh, should have played it better. If I, the only way he wins that if, is if he deflects my go for the throat. So I should have just done it at a unpredictable timing. I did it at the most predictable timing, which is when he's low enough. If I just do it early, I don't care about the reset. I, just, I get the damage through, then he would have lost that fight. Shit, that guy is unblading. I don't know. So what you are saying is that little by little you are going to become a potato like the rest of us. Yes. Very much. Okay, I remember. So I don't want to lose my snacks. Yeah, one of us should have gone OBJ no there. <clears throat> I feel like it should have been him though. He's the one that doesn't. Run, get out of there. He's the one that doesn't do camp quick because he didn't take the camp talent. <laughs> Well, a little better. See, that's what I mean, right? If I get the, if I don't do it, if he can't block it, if I did that last time, then I win the duel. That's actually a pretty, pretty big win. Cause I think, I think, I think we win the boss here because because they use X Strike and Palm there. They don't have enough to win the boss anymore. I actually stalled them for so long there. <laughs> Should be game, we have a boss. Zerg in one lane with big camp.
Welcome back, by the way, Bolo. Thanks for 34 months. Appreciate it. Base is being attacked by the <laughs> <laughs> My heels are. No, he's too fast. These are some garbage cocoons. <laughs> they shouldn't. Oh, well, I told you they shouldn't have made Chamico tank. Even Chamico on damage, you can see how sus he can be. But man, you make him play something he doesn't know how to play. Oh boy. One blade sucks. I, I mean, yeah, it's not good in high elo. But to be fair, like wind blades can win one versus one top. So you know, if Chamical didn't die like seventy times, maybe they could have made it work just by winning top lane in one versus one. What was my top lane in the last game? I don't know if it beats Artanis. It might still lose to it. I'm actually not sure if when Blade speeds are Tannis. After level 7. I think it does. I don't know. It's close though. After level 7, it might win. Definitely not before. <coughs> What's up, generic Bob? I appreciate it. Hi fan, what's the strongest role in the game? I mean, all the roles are pretty impactful. I'd say maybe DPS or tank. I'm not sure though. I mean, they're all pretty impactful. Yeah, if I had to pick one, I would pick DPS or tank. The thing about DPS, though, is you have two spots of DPS. So you kind of get like two rolls of DPS. So <clears throat> it's... Whereas tank, you only, get, you only have one tank. So if your tank sucks and the other tank doesn't, you just, you're going to lose that game. Like that's like almost guaranteed a loss. The same is true for DPS. If your DPS suck and the other team's DPS doesn't, you're gonna lose that too. But since you have two two spots, you know, if you have one DPS that sucks and one DPS that's good, that is still pretty winnable. But those are both important roles. My YouTube overlay doesn't show the emotes. There's like no good YouTube chat overlay thing. Yeah, I feel like the technology for YouTube chat overlay is like not very good. Couldn't find any actual good ones. Do you think it's better to have mediocre mechanics but good decision making or good mechanics and mediocre decision making? Eh, I don't know. It's pretty close. I would probably rather have good decision making. But those two are like, you know, pretty close.
When Fuzli transitioned over, her main mod made his own overlay. Holy! That's insane. Too bad that main mod didn't make it public then. What the heck? The rest of us could use that. Okay, anyways, where was I? So I was, I was losing miserably because I was trying to go for a blind build and then I couldn't find any blind items. And then I decided to pivot to Holy Spear instead. Oh yeah, that's where I was. Okay, well, I mean... Let's hope this works. This is on sale. I could literally buy it right now. It's not bad. And then uh, anti heal helmet because I got nothing better to do. I think that's okay. Alright, let's try this. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, what the f- Oh, right, right. I remember now. Okay, I have to flip this. Spear needs to be on this side. Let's put this here. Oh god, it only hits two there? Oh, can't do that. That's terrible. Only one slot open? That's terrible. Wait, 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 what? I am so confused. Yeah, what do we do like this? Oh, they were so good at programming that. Oh, okay. So it's like a programmer for hire. I guess that makes sense. Wait, this needs to be here. Ah, my brain hurts. Worry about this next time. El Gandalf, thanks for the raid. You guys all can all check out El Gandalf stream sometime with the link in chat right there. Hot lives. Hogger nerf. True. Very true. Long awaited Hogger nerf. Man, when did Hogger come out? It's been such a long awaited nerf, actually. It's pretty crazy. Tremble before me. <laughs> it's been four years since the nerf. We finally got there, though. Better late than never. 
They found one. Once you say Alarak's a good pick, well, Alarak is good at killing heroes, and he's bad at um everything else. So it's a good pick when you just need a pick to kill heroes. If your team has the soaking and the wave clear covered, and the camps covered, and you just, just need a pick to kill heroes. Yeah, the Aurel changes look very exciting. Definitely gonna be cool to try those out. He started as a mod, he worked at streamer camp and QD saw, okay, I see, that's cool. Alex also good at CCing in BOE. That is true. Uh, that was kind of a very random ban, but whatever. <clears throat> Do your worst. Getting some Arel practice in for next oh, patch. This is my jam. I see. From order comes justice. You know. I'm actually a big fan of main tank Leoric. I'm going to be attempting this until the day I die. Main tank Leoric type. Well, at least against Diablo. Make way for the bad guy. Chow is trying to tell me you lost the other overlay. It's in your email, right? What other overlay? Wait, what do you mean? I don't know what overlay you're talking about. Oh, the chinchilla one? Yeah, that one's probably in my email. But I mean, there's only like six and a half months until Christmas. I mean, we're almost there, you know. It's close enough. The King Caffeine Leo main tank, same. Precisely. <coughs> Prepare yourselves for battle, heroes. Are you ready for the battle ahead? Yes. Let our enemies feel our wrath. Let us uh, those emotes. Those emotes might be in my email. I mean, those ones I'm not as sure. The battle begins in not as sure. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, Is Jarrell going secret one. ground this game? No. If he's going we Dauntless, then it's marry. unlikely. I mean, a big reason why people don't go secret ground is because Dauntless is so good at level one, and, and secret ground is kind of like overlapping with it. Little Jin running at me. Where are, where's our Imperius at? Spear something. He's just dead. Oh no. I'm dead too. Oh no. Like, I hate to say it, but I'm pretty sure my Imperius is boosted. It's only been a minute in the game, but I, I'm pretty sure he's boosted. He's gonna be tough. Am I solo laning? Is he just gonna tank? Maybe he just wants to tank. Doesn't matter to me where I go. This is the price of betrayal. Let me 
to clear faster than yes. RL, so it's fine for us to solo into. Deaths already in two minutes. So far, it looks looks like our uh, theory about Imperius is probably true. Be surprised if I lost those ones? Me neither. Those ones are more likely lost. Very likely. Do not falter. Use the speed up. It's my whole team dead though. First outcome was uh, avoided at least. Hmm. <laughs> oh, three deaths. He's getting up there. He's right. Let's hope he's right. What's going on in today's lobbies? There's always Diamond 5 and Plats in Master Games. Did they change the matchmaking? I don't know. Did they? I don't know. Maybe. Are you talking about your games or my games? If you're talking about my games, I don't think anything's changed much. But if you've seen something weird in your games, then maybe. On my way. It shall be done. Your service will be rewarded, peasant. Is that a Diablo? I just see Diablo. Why is a Diablo? Why is a Diablo up there? They're just... Just their formatting top. Your games. Maybe they did change something then. I did have a, two plats in my game too, and I was like, that was super weird. I almost never see plats in my game. Maybe they did. Let's 
hoping maybe I could kill that guy. Man. Strike and tomb, I guess. Yes. Another shrine will be active soon. Do not let our enemy claim it. Does Bruiser mean the ch the tune is meant for solo lane? Most Bruisers do prefer solo lane. Not all, but most. I would say that's fairly true. Not true in every single situation, but generally speaking, it's not a bad assumption to make. Go and claim the Punisher's power for the high heavens. rotating up here I have to rotate up here too make sure they don't get this you guys really don't like me Yeah, they got a kill level down there. That was pretty fortunate for us. Pretty good, even, maybe slightly better than even. I'll take it. The damned I think the other teams have five snack. Yeah, I can check after the game, sure. That's one of my more liked 16 talents. On my way. I don't know. The Aral W16 is really powerful. I like Imperius' uh, Vorpal Blade talent as well. Oh, Hanzo's, is, Hanzo's uh, piercing talent is really sick too. Got the E off before I could the E. I'll be back though. Can I get vision so the team doesn't die here. Sent me the two OG. Okay. Yeah, oh my lord! Oh 
Oh my lordy. Oh, Alright. But. Nice knowing you. Pretty sure Irel didn't even ult, which means there's no way to actually kill her. Not, maybe, maybe a five-man collapse. Maybe we would need the full five. Oh, maybe she did ult actually. She ulted very at the very end and wasted it. That's fortunate for us. Well, seeing how they're 39ing it, it's much more likely they're a 5 stack. Usually you won't get 39 unless people are stacking. They don't usually coordinate like that. <laughs> A frozen punisher moves against us. Oh dear. Ming lead. <laughs> I mean, I told you guys at one minute this guy is uh, like I just I like just from his play in the first minute I knew he didn't know what's happening. It only takes me one minute to s sniff out someone that doesn't belong in these games, unfortunately. Actually, less. I can usually go in like ten seconds watching their play. I knew this was gonna happen. The first thirty seconds, I already knew it was doomed. Yeah, this is game over. We ain't, we ain't stopping this. Yeah, it looks like it. Looks like it is, uh, well, at least a three stack, but two of them are offline, so it could have been a five stack. Looks likely. Smurl, Li Ming, Alex, Straza. I feel like I know who this is. This guy's obviously super rusty too. I've seen him a couple times these last few days and he's been pretty pretty bad. But obviously, 10 months ago he was a GM player. And he renamed his account too. This dude, I, I know, I mean 10 months ago I would have known who he was for sure. But with the rename I don't remember who it is. In any case, whoever it is, this guy is super rusty, and every time I see him in a GM game, it's, uh, it's the team that has him is not going to have a fun time.
Anyways. It's been fun. I'm out for now, chat. I'll be back on Thursday. That is also the planned start date of Bronze GM. So unless something terrible happens, we should be starting Bronze GM. Uh, it's probably not going to be hard stuck, though. So we'll probably be out of bronze pretty quickly uh, on Thursday. As always, if you missed any of the games that happened earlier today, reruns coming up on Twitch. You can catch those on the rerun. Beefcake, thanks for the prime. And if you guys need to get better at HOTS, want a better win rate, better rank, more wins in your match history, you're like that imperious, you just started playing again in five months and you want to stop sucking in all your games, well, check out my Patreon, exclamation mark Patreon, or patreon.com slash fanhots, where we have over 120 exclusive Grandmaster level guides, all made by me, all up to date about every topic you can imagine. They're fully educational guides designed to help you become a better HOTS player. So check that out if you need it. Yep, GG's guys. I'll see you guys on Thursday.